Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I have the Enforce 6640 single board computer, the most powerful single board computer that I have ever tested on this channel. Before we get started here, I just wanna let you guys know that this is not comparable to the Raspberry Pi 3. This is a $289 single board computer. It was designed for embedded applications. I'll give you a few examples here. Touchscreen maps at the mall, train station, message boards, signage in hospitals, all kinds of stuff can be driven off of this board. It's very powerful. It runs a Snapdragon 820 CPU, four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. I'm gonna go over what's on the board and then we're gonna get into some benchmarks using the pre-installed Android 7.0 that comes with this board. So first up, we have gigabit ethernet, one USB 3.0 port, micro USB, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, micro HDMI 2.0, and we have a barrel jack that takes 12 volts, three amps. This board itself has two camera inputs, two CSI connectors here, a display connector, a fan header in case you wanna add a small little fan right there. We also have UART here through three of these pins. We have some GPIO connections here. Now I'm not sure what this is for. I haven't gone through all of the documentation. Over here we have a JTAG connector. Power button, volume up and down right on the board. On the back side we don't have much. It's an acrylic case, but there is a micro SD card slot right there. Now this board is super powerful. It comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 CPU, four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 40 gigabytes of super fast internal storage. This thing is pretty much one of the beastliest single board computers that I've ever run across. And it should be because it's $289. So this was designed for embedded applications. It was never meant to be a media player, but it does do 4K at 60 FPS. And I'm sure we can play some really awesome games with this thing. Like I said before, this is not comparable to the Raspberry Pi 3, but I wanted to show you the size difference. So here's the Raspberry Pi 2 versus the Enforce 6640 board. It's a bit bigger, but with that extra power, it doesn't bug me that much. With a stronger CPU comes a bigger power supply. This is the power supply that the Enforce 6640 comes with. 12 volts, three amps, and a nice beefy barrel jack. Let's move over to the operating system and see how this thing performs. All right guys, so this board comes pre-installed with Android 7.0. I'll show you some of the apps that do come on it. Now I have installed a lot of this stuff and it doesn't come pre-installed with Google Play. I installed this. I have a method of doing it and it seems to work with a lot of single board computers that don't come pre-installed with the Play Store. This board, is in no way, shape, or form a competitor to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a $35 single board computer. This is a $300 embedded system. This can be used in industrial applications. Let's say a kiosk at the mall, you know, the touchscreen maps at the mall, signage, hospital signage, restaurant signage. I mean, there are endless possibilities that this board can be used in. With that said, Let's go ahead and check the specs out. I'm gonna open up IDA64. We have four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Our CPU is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. Two of the cores are clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. The other two are at 2.1. It's a 14 nanometer die. For our display, we have the Qualcomm Adreno 530. It clocks all the way up to 624 megahertz. It seems to be very stable. This build here is pretty good. Now the Android security patch is a little old, but I can overlook that as long as they put an update out soon. We can do up to OpenGL 3.2. Go to Android here, 7.0. This is what I was talking about, the security patch from 2016. It needs to be updated, and I'm not sure if the newest version on their website is updated or not. I'm gonna install that later on, but I wanted to get this out of the way. And get out of here. Now in this video, I just wanted to show you some of the benchmarks that this board pulled off. Pretty awesome for a single board computer, but then again, it is $300.
We're going to start off with 3D Mark here. This does have 40 gigabytes of onboard storage and it is fast. The onboard storage is so quick. My device, Slingshot Extreme, 2,571. I'm gonna go to best devices. As you can see, the Nvidia Shield Android TV still sits on top at 3,971. We're down here a little bit, not too bad. We are above the Samsung Galaxy S7 though. Right in here, I believe. For IceStorm Unlimited, we scored a 28,315 outstanding score. Best devices there, filters. Scroll down a bit. On the Android front, Nvidia Shield Android TV is still on top. This is my favorite Android device by far. I actually have two of them, and I can highly recommend the Nvidia Shield. So even with IceStorm Unlimited here, the Galaxy S7 still came just a tad above it. Not bad. I must note that I am not using any active cooling. This has a very small heat sink like you saw at the beginning of the video. It may benefit from a fan. It does have a fan header on it, so I could put a little five volt fan there if I want. Pretty good scores. Next up, and 2 2 147,665. Pretty good if you ask me. Not too far, we're number 13 on the list. And I was looking for the S7, but it's not listed here. Still way above the iPhone 6S. Highest single board computer score that I have ever seen. And it's the most pricey single board computer that I've ever seen. We're gonna go to Geekbench 4. And I ran each of these tests twice, so just to let you guys know, this is the second score that came out. CPU could have been a little heat soaked. Like I said, if I add a fan, there is a chance we could score a tad bit higher. I'm not sure how much though. Single score, 1,611. Multi-core score, 3,757. Really good score here. I was expecting it to be pretty high with that Snapdragon 820. So I actually ran Chrome and I ran two of my favorite JavaScript benchmarks. Now these are totally online for JavaScript, but it does give me an idea because I've been running these on single board computers and PCs for years. We scored a 655 here. I'm not comparing it to the Raspberry Pi at all, but I wanna let you guys know, the Raspberry Pi 3 scores a 3400 28 to 3400, depending on the circumstances. Next up, Octane, 9000. Really, really good score, and it just reset on me. Score to 9000 in Octane 2.0. So that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to do an unboxing and show you some of the benchmarks. Now this board is ridiculously powerful for a single board computer. It's very expensive also. This isn't really a maker board, but it could be if you're willing to spend that money. I'm gonna be doing some more tests and some more videos with this board. And I know a lot of you are going to complain about the price, but like I said, I'm not comparing it to the Raspberry Pi. This is a single board computer in its own class. Let me know in the comments below what you wanna see running on this board. I'll definitely get into some emulation, some native Android apps, if there's anything else you want to see, let me know, and I'll try to get a video made as soon as possible. Like always, thanks for watching.